I want to welcome you guys to this week's report. We've got definitely some improved conditions over last week with fish finding in a few different areas and a lot of good things to cover. So let's go to the map and talk about the weather. The uh, forecast for the entire weekend is pretty good. Uh, all the outer islands, Channel Islands, Nick, Santa Barbara, Clemente, Catalina, they're fairly calm conditions all weekend. Uh, definitely fishable on smaller boats. Uh, you're going to have a little bit of southeast wind along the beach. You've got to drive out so, to get past uh, on the way out, but um, it's a classic uh, Catalina Eddy condition where the uh, west wind is a little bit on the outside, swirling right around Clemente and come up out of the southeast from below there. Uh, that southeast wind is going to have an effect on the tuna grounds. Uh, it might be a little uncomfortable for smaller boats on Saturday, but I don't think it's going to affect sport boats at all. And uh, guys fishing along the beach are going to have to deal with some uh, southeast wind, which is pretty typical May conditions. Um, so it's not going to be great along the beach weather-wise, but once you get a few miles offshore, you should get past it. Uh, like I said, Catalina is fine. Every, all the other islands are fine. It's going to be a little bit breezy at the Coronados, down to the grounds, and uh, along the beach. So uh, let's get to the fishing, uh, heading up to the Channel Islands. Um, they're still hitting sea bass and yellows up there. The fishing's a little bit better than it's been uh, earlier this week. After we had the wind last week, the uh, water temp dropped considerably up there. I saw a report of 52 degree water at one point. But that's coming back around now and the, uh, the guys are starting to get some sea bass and uh, a few yellowtail again, basically chasing around sonar schools uh, and dropping baits and lures on them. This is a, in a type of fishing where sport boats definitely have an advantage because they have a sonar. So if you're looking to get up there, I would uh, and fish that anyway. I'd leave your boat at home and uh, jump on one of the sport boats and running trips up there. Uh, the fishing's still a little hit or miss, but it's definitely better than it was and should improve as we come off the full moon and these conditions stabilize a little bit. I'm expecting uh, improved fishing up there over the next week or two unless we get another set of uh, stormy days. So uh, heading down south, nothing's really happening at Nick or SPI due to a lack of boats fishing it, but I'm sure that if anybody makes a run out there, they'll probably catch some rockfish. But uh, Clemente is our next stop, and uh, sport boats are uh, catching yellows, a few big halibut, a few sea bass out there. Uh, the sea bass are coming from areas that have squid. The yellows are coming mostly off of uh, sonar schools, either on the backside east end or on the front, catching fish on yo-yo jigs and fly line baits and things like that. Um, it seems like that backside stuff's a real early morning thing. I made a run to the island on Saturday and by the time I got there at 8 o'clock that was pretty much the tail end of it. We got out in that zone, metered a couple schools of fish, dropped jigs on them but they didn't bite. Ended up uh, fishing bass. Uh, the water on the backside of the island on Saturday was 58 degrees and horribly green. But the bass were biting on the surface, so that uh, worked out good. Um, the front side was uh, muddy brown water from the red tide, but uh, and really warm, like 65, 66 degree surface temperature. But I think that's just a few top inches of the water due to uh, due to the red tide. The bass on the front side were actually biting really good in that dirty water on hard baits, but the uh, sea lions were bad enough that uh, we got tired of feeding them bass and left. Uh, I've got a little bit of video to show you from uh, what we were doing on the backside, a couple of different presentations we were using, so I'm going to show you that here. Okay, so this is some video I shot when Decker and I were fishing at Clemente. Uh, it was fishing in shallow, fishing was kind of slow, we are throwing the iron, uh, saw a lot of birds in this zone, so a lot of times when you get to the island you'll see this, you'll just see birds working general open water around uh, the beach. We're in probably 12 to 15 feet of water. I just saw a bass come up and boil. And we're on a trolling motor to position us around. And Jimmy's spinning a boat around here. And I'm telling him, hey, there's a bass just boiled right there. And uh, as he swings the boat over there, I'm going to make another cast of that same zone. I'm fishing a Teddy Starman 112 uh, service iron. And uh, just casting to where I saw that fish boil. As you can see, it's not a rush thing here. We're not racing around or anything like that. And I'm using a varied retrieve trying to trick that fish into biting. Um, I think I hang it right here, but um, there you go. These fish are just cruising around this open water. Like I said, we're in, you know, five to maybe 15, 20 feet of water. There's submerged boilers, surf grass, all that stuff around. But these bigger bass are in there just chasing bait and swimming around. So you can uh, pretty much just slow down. If you see an area with birds and stuff, don't always just look in the kelp. You can look in the open water as well. And here's a result of a nice big surface iron calico bass. But, uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. We just picked around here. It's 58 degree green water, so it's far from great conditions. So uh, don't rule stuff out automatically. All right, this next little uh, clip here shows us uh, fishing weedless swim baits in generally the same area, but we're fishing a kelp. It's kind of a in towards the beach and uphill conditions. We're on the leading edge of the bed here. There's a few birds flying around. We've caught a few fish in the weedless here, but um, I'm sharing this clip because it kind of gives you a classic example of how uh, how to hook these fish and how not to. And uh, Jimmy's about to hook one, I'm about to miss one. And what it comes down to is the uh, what happens when you get the bite. So a lot of times when we get these bites, our knee-jerk reactions just swing, which you'll see me do here on the next cast. And uh, what Jimmy's actually doing is the right thing. So he's made his cast out. He's watching his bait come through the kelp stringers. And um, while he's looking around, he's keeping an eye on that bait. And then when he sees the fish come up on it, he'll get the bite. You can see his stop whining for a second, lower the rod tip towards the fish, let it swim away, and then sweep it into it. It's supposed to be just swinging on the fish and missing it. As much as I've done this, it's still a knee-jerk reaction to just pull back. But what he did is perfect. Stop winding, let him get the bait, let him turn with the bait, and then stick him. And you'll end up with a nice bass instead of a, uh, another uh, whiffed-on bite. So that's about it. Easy bass fishing at San Clemente Island. So for the weekend at Clemente, I would imagine that the fishing is probably going to be the same as it was last weekend, or hopefully a little bit better. Um, hoping to see that front side clean up. It looks like it did on the uh, chlorophyll chart. And maybe start seeing some more yellows coming from the front. Uh, if I was running on a skip anywhere this weekend, it might be probably be there. I'd probably look for yellows on the front and then go around the back and fish bass once the sun gets out. And what, with this, you know, the... Catalina Eddy, a lot of times it stays overcast for a good part of the day, which often makes for tough surface bass fishing. Um, let's head into uh, Catalina. It's kind of status quo there. They're getting a few yellows on the sport boats, mostly bass, bonita, rockfish, things like that. But um, there's some squid there. I don't know if anybody's catching anything on the squid. Or, you know, the sea bass guys, I really haven't heard a lot this week. Um, I think that's just going to continue to improve over there, though. We've got some stable weather here for quite a while, and we're coming off the full moon. So hopefully uh, Catalina picks up a little bit. Um, along the coast, let's call it the northern coast, since we have a northern and southern coast uh, coverage today. I'm going to call it from Santa Monica Bay down to Newport Beach, or let's, you know, let's say down to Dana Point. Um, the fishing overall has been slow. Uh, the southeast wind is not going to help this weekend. Uh, the good news is that the uh, the bay boats are starting to bring in some anchovies, and I know that I saw it just now on online that they are actually getting anchovies up in Oxnard as well. So I think we're getting more of an anchovy cycle here. And the good news about the anchovies tends to make the the bass fishing and surface fishing a lot better than sardines do, as far as uh, getting the fish active. The uh, boats out of Dana have been fishing with uh, anchovies this week, as has the boats out of Newport. They've actually had good bass fishing, good calico fishing along with a few nice sea bass aboard uh, one of the boats out of Dana earlier this week. Um, if you're a private boater, go get a you know, scoop or two of anchovy, go anchor up somewhere, start a chum line, you'd be amazed at how good bass fishing could be. If, you know, if all you've ever fished is sardines before, you're going to be in for quite a shock. Uh, I know they're a little harder to cast, but uh, a little bit of practice, you'll, uh, you'll be throwing them in no time. Um, along the south coast, which would be, let's call it from uh, San Diego to Dana Point. Fishing's kind of similar. It's a little bit better uh, the further south you go because the water, water's been a little bit warmer, uh, a little less rollover down there, and uh, good bass fishing. I know their half-day boats are getting a few nice yellowtail. I like this one uh, caught earlier this week. Um, that should continue to improve as well once the, uh, once the southeast wind backs off a bit, and these water temperatures should be stable down there. And I expect uh, more good fishing to improve down there through the summer months. Um, haven't heard a lot from the Coronados. There was a boat fishing down there um, earlier this week. They had a good score of yellows, but I really haven't heard anything since then. Uh, so let's uh, let's head offshore. Uh, the full moon kind of messed everything up there, which is uh, what it can do at times, uh, especially early season. These fish will move a lot during the full moon, or feed strictly at night, or travel. 
uh, follow the moon as they're traveling at night and end up in new places. Seems like the sport boats are back on the fish now and they've relocated them and they're getting some good score. That's out today on Thursday. Last night, Wednesday night, some of the long range boats, day and a half trips, got some, some nice scores on fish. So that night bite's still happening. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where they're fishing, but it's I'm assuming they're still fishing down south inside of Ensenada. I know there was some fish biting or seen out west in U.S. waters, but whatever reason, uh, according to fish up, the boats have gotten off that stuff and nobody's really targeting anything in U.S. waters. Uh, I think with the water that's at Clemente down to the corner, I think it needs to improve a little bit before more fish slides up, but we'll see. Um, I'm not going to head out there this week weekend and take a look, but it could happen. Uh, the Full day boats have been struggling to catch tuna since the moon. They're seeing fish now at least, but uh, no wonder they're catching. They're all big, you know, 100, 150 pounders, but uh, it seems like it's bigger fish in that closer area, but not as not as many and not as willing to bite. Uh, there's also some kelp patty yellows down there, and uh, they're getting some wax. And those are not tiny ones. They you know, look like eight to 12 pound grade of fish from what I've seen in pictures. So if you're heading down, make sure you can bring something you can fly along a bait with, catch a yellowtail if you go on a full day trip along with your sinker rig and your knife jig for blooping. Um, that's about it for this week. You know, we have uh, good weather in the forecast and uh, lots of boats online, private boaters. Uh, I would be aware of that southeast wind along the beach and down below. Uh, that could really make for a rough ride out and uh, a wet one anyway. But uh, that's about it. Good week. Good luck with your fishing.